Just order some food. Uh, chicken and no chicken. <laughs> Ham and cheese sandwich with some fries and of course an imperial. So I got this hostel right, and um, it's kind of a nightmare. Uh, I walked in, sharing a bed, twelve people in the room. Two of them, one guy's got his gut hanging out. <laughs> Big old guy. He's already snoring. What time is it? It's two o'clock. Two o'clock, man. He's already snoring. Um, so I imagine tonight sleeping there's gonna be pretty rough. It's hot. Uh, they don't do your laundry. You have to go walk in town. I'm in between Quapos and Manuel Antonio, so it's 15 minute walk either way. Up a massive hill. You fucking it sucks. It's good It sucks. It's uh. It's no bueno. Uh, they don't take card, so I didn't have any cash on me. I had to I caught an Uber ride into town to uh, withdraw some money. And I was able to do that. I withdrawed some American dollars and some colonists. I found a laundry place not too far from the hostel. Some lady's house. She just washes people's laundry. So uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, she said we'd be ready in about three hours. So. Yeah. And I'm alone. None of my friends are here. They all left. But uh, I'm trying to make new ones. So I might, probably gonna book a tour tomorrow. Find a place in town where you can book tours or something. But it's, besides that, this place is stunning. There's people parasailing down there. That island's famous for having the tail of a, a humpback whale. So you see how it, it uh, yeah. Maybe I'll get down there and see it. I heard the beach is beautiful. I, I kind of love to go parasailing if I don't end up going skydiving. There's a parasailer. <laughs> Man, this is so pretty. It's unreal. Cheers. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Man. What a rough night. So uh, I went finally made it back to my hostel and I tried to take a nap and uh, I probably did so for about like an hour or so but there's this guy sitting there, he come in, I don't know what he was eating but I mean, all you heard was <laughs> loud as hell, I couldn't believe it. And there's other guy sitting on the other bed talking in Spanish on the phone and I was just like, I cannot do this. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. So I started walking. I walked for maybe, like, maybe 30 minutes. I got a taxi into town. And I booked me a private room, boy, for one night. And tomorrow I go back to the shared dormitories, but I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> Wait till I figure out how to do the air conditioning. I just did. It's gonna be the coldest room. But here they got a pool, everybody's swimming, there's a bar, everybody's at the bar. Uh, this is gonna be that. That this is, this is gonna be a good place. But uh, last place I couldn't do it. it was, it's about to start blowing cold air. Yeah, the last place smelled like feet and ass. <laughs> I probably need to go take a shower. But ah, uh, this is heaven. I deserve this. This vacation, right? <laughs> well. Anyways, yeah, going to take a shower. Peace, Pura Vida. Yeah. What's up guys, how's it going? Ah, oh, my camera's super foggy, that's no bueno. Hold on. Better. It's probably just gonna fog out. It's very humid here, so I ain't got much time. Today I, uh, I booked a tour to go to the Manuel Antonio National Park. There's a bunch of monkeys and stuff, hopefully they don't take nothing of mine. But, um, it should be a lot of fun. Uh, and afterwards, uh, I booked another tour to go parasailing for about 15, 30 minutes. Now, I've never been parasailing, so I'm excited to do that. Now, tomorrow is a big day because I have to decide whether um, I want to go skydiving or just do something like canyoning in the, in the park. So, And tomorrow is my last day here in Costa Rica. But uh, it has been an amazing experience, and I recommend anybody to 
and then once you come here to do it. And if you're by yourself, do it. I came by myself and I've met countless friends along the way. It's been uh, unreal. But on the other side of this building, there's a huge a beach. I might try and get over there so I can show you guys a better picture. I'm going to be there later, but uh, yeah, I'm excited. And a scooter. Drove to the beach. It looks awesome. Can we get in there? I gotta pay this guy a thousand kilometers. Wow, this beach is crazy compared to the last one. Hands down, is still one of the best beaches I've ever Let's been see, to. But take off. Ah, it's coming for me! <laughs> Man, that is beautiful. <laughs> 39 minutes left. And you got people over there. They're probably ah. soaking up the sun. Some rocks. Quite dangerous. Here we are in the National Park. It's got a baby on him. Ha! <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> Look at his tail. Hey, monkey. I don't know if he's looking at me or not. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Menyo Antonio Park was extremely cool. There was literally wildlife everywhere. Very cool. They're learning how to jump, I guess. Yeah. If you want to see the space over. Don't do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Walking down the trail, found this, mate. Pretty. How are you doing? <laughs> Very cool. What's up, man? I've never been this close to a deer before. When they get really old, they can't hold themselves up no more and they fall. Oh, you got the face shot. <laughs> What's up, man? The trail run. We started here, worked our way all the way up here. Now we're going to famous Humpback Whale Beach. Two of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Really good views up here. Let's get to it. People everywhere. Whoa, that was awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Amigo. What's up, man? You're like in heaven now. You're like video. This is what I've, this is what I've been wanting all day. Oh, it's got a baby. <laughs> this is the left side of the the whale-shaped island. So pretty, man. I'm gonna swim on the other side, but very, very pretty. Super cool. Okay, that was quick. Time to hike the trail. We're gonna get to some viewpoints, give you some better footage. <laughs> we made it to the top of one side. Yeah, he's the guy that uh, was going to waterfall. Sorry, are you tomorrow? Yeah. They're doing, hey, he's at our hostel. He's a waterfall man. They're going to the waterfall. 
Ah, so, so pretty. I'm gonna get poison ivy or something. Holy shit! Yeah. Straight down. Karaoke night at the hostel that night, and of course I wanted to be involved. Man, my hostel looks crazy already. Oh shit, don't hit me. <laughs> and not long after being there, I signed up. This is Andy's new mate, James from London. He's about to sing Snoop Dogg, Drop It Like a Sock. In. People wanted me to dance, but honestly, I have the slightest clue how. Another one of the best moments of my life. And last night, <laughs> was wild. Stayed up late with my UK buds. Yeah, we did some karaoke. Drank way too much. <laughs> Good fun. Though. Today I'm doing um, an adrenaline part. The thing I wanted to do, the waterfall tour, is close, so I ended up paying a little bit more in doing an adrenaline part. It should be fun. Though. Here we go. Well, everyone in the US is really 
Guess we're about to take this Humvee. Uh, four by four. Just through some water and stuff. <laughs> School bus got up here. It's wild. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> that's one thing this country can't get any better. It does. Cheer Vita. Everything's gonna be GoPro from now on, so. I can probably peace. do a little more. It depends. We're starting the tour. If you get it at the end, you might only be able to do it for like. After another amazing day, we started to get poured on and drenched in the rainforest. But who cared? Oh, you caught something. Reel it in. 
That was fucking awesome. We just did a, uh, basically some more zip lining, uh, canyoning, we did another Tarzan swing. I caught a lot of it on the GoPro, so back of my camera. I wish I had my camera out when we were driving down the mountain because it was the clouds coming out the forest. It was gorgeous. It really was. Our family from uh, Mississippi and a family from Philadelphia. And then me. <laughs> the solo traveler. But, uh, it was fun. They're nice people. I'm going to miss this place. Hey, you got a phone in Hello, guys. It's almost all said and done with. I leave this morning. My private driver should be here in about 30 minutes. I'm sitting here, crossing my fingers, hopeful. Hopeful they get breakfast up by then. I sure am hungry. Yeah, it sure sucked to go through four hours without no food. <laughs> Last night they had salsa dancing. I opted not to go, partly because my shoes were soaking wet and uh, it's been tired. I'm ready to get back home, I guess. <laughs> well, finally made it to the airport. Sorry. My flight leaves uh, in like three hours. So, uh, Successful vacation. Woo.